wine in a purse in a box? Is the shape of your glass tied to the speed that you drink? And a food truck that's bringing fresh produce to underserved populations for September 19th. This is Food News Today. Good morning. Food News Today is sponsored by ConAgra Foods, who shares with me the desire to provide the most current, interesting, and unbiased food news. A new study shows that the shape of one's beer glass can affect how fast you drink. According to the study published in PLOS 1, author Dr. Angela Atwood from the School of Experimental Psychology at the University of Bristol in Bristol, England, says, and I quote, that people often talk of pacing themselves when drinking alcohol. The important point to take from our research is that the ability to pace effectively may be compromised when drinking from certain types of glasses. On average, it took people 11 minutes to finish 12 ounces of beer when drinking from a straight glass versus seven minutes from a curved glass, which translates to a nearly 60% slower consumption rate. Now, the next story may throw off drinking in moderation altogether. Box wine is becoming more popular as an option and even has some perks. Wine contained in the bag in the box, that is, seems to actually preserve the wine better because there's no air that can get in. When a glass bottle is uncorked, air begins to oxidize the wine and distort the flavor. The bag in the box utilizes a tap or spout that allows a minimal amount of oxygen, if at all, to enter. Vernissage's bag-in-a-bag -bag wine may make box wine even more popular. Well, at least with the ladies, as they have boxed wine that's shaped like a handbag. Of course they do. Elliot Stern, the CEO of Squish Wines, is in charge of importing the bags from Sweden to here in the U.S. He says it's a whole new concept of design meant to appeal to a classy lady, a classy lady, heading out to lunch with the girls or dinner with her significant other. I guess we have no reason anymore to steal those little liquor bottles from planes. In any case, since its debut in 2010, the wine in the purse has launched in China, Japan, and several other European countries. Next up, we're talking about food trucks. And no, not your average trendy truck. We're talking about the food bank of Contra Costa and Solano that have recently developed a community produce truck that delivers free produce to churches, health clinics, schools, and community centers. Now, the rules are simple. Twice a month, the food bank distributes the produce to various areas in the community. The program, a self-serve model, has the base of the truck set up so that people can take a bag of carrots, a bag of pears, and serve themselves in a few minutes with little volunteer time required. Just a few short months, the program has already reached over 2,800 low-income households, each having received nearly 30 pounds of fresh fruits and vegetables. Getting consumers to eat more fruits and vegetables is a goal for all Americans. In fact, the current dietary guidelines recommend that people fill half their plates with fruits and vegetables. And there's clear scientific evidence that eating this way can help people maintain a healthy weight and also help reduce the risk of nutrition-related chronic diseases. But what about the many communities that just can't afford to buy fresh produce or live in a food desert where fresh produce is hard to come by? Well, this food truck idea is terrific and looks like it's been getting effective produce to those in need. Share your thoughts with the food world. And don't forget to join our consumer panel. Just go to supermarketguru.com to join and click on consumer panel. And as always, log on to foodnewstoday.com anytime to access our archives and replay our past episodes. And thank you for watching.